Teach me obedience, make me transparent like thee. Behold the handmaid of God, may all your heralds come true. So long. What's wrong? I came online as fast as I could. What happened? Why did you call me online? Tell me, has someone ever broken a promise that they have made to you? Sure, lots of times. Array, but a promise is a promise. How can anyone break it? See, I just promised my mom that I won't use the laptop unless I clean my room. But then, you message me and I also promised you that I'm going to come online right away. So I had to break the promise that I made to my mom. Then why didn't you say so? I would have told you to come online later. Are don't worry. Bade bade share mein chote chote baate hoti rati hai. Oh gosh, just answer my question. How can anyone break a promise? I guess. Someone just broke a promise that they made to you? Yes, exactly. Well, let me ask you something. Have you ever broken a promise? So there's no one who can keep promises? I don't know. Why don't we take a survey? Maybe we can find out. Let's call everyone and ask them. Promise? Yes, promise. Hey guys, hi guys, hi, hi, guys. hi everyone. Hey guys, thanks for joining at such a short notice. I'm taking a survey to check if there is anyone who actually keeps all the promises that they make. <laughs> I do not think such a person exists. No way! Our grandparents 
promise to love each other until death. That's a big promise to keep. Great. So they have never ever broken any promises. Oh well, once Grandma promised to make pancakes for us, but she forgot to buy flour. So no pancakes. Yes, my dad did also promise me a iPhone six. Dude, that phone is six years old. I know the promise of our six years old, but still no iPhone. I think there is really no one keeps all the promises they make. You know, there is one person who, who, who the only one who keeps every promise is God. Oh. oh! Interesting. And what proof do you have? Well, in the Bible, in the second letter of Saint Peter, chapter one, verse four, it says, "He has given us its precious and very great promises, so that through these you may escape and become partakers of the divine nature." Okay, so God makes promises, but how do we know that He will keep them? Well, hello, because He's God. And is that supposed to convince me? Well, why don't you read the book of Numbers, chapter twenty-three, verses nineteen? It says that God is not a human to lie, and not a human being to change his mind. I don't know. I'm still not convinced. These lines are just about God. Maybe if there was one example of a promise that was fulfilled, one. I can give you five. Remember Noah. Oh yes, yes. God promised Noah that he will never destroy the world again. Hasn't he kept the promise? Yes. Also, God promised Abraham that he will make into a great nation, and his name would be great. Don't we call him the father of faith? Correct. God also tells Moses that if Israel obeys God's commandment, they will be his chosen people, his treasured possession. Exactly, and don't you remember the promise God makes to David and his descendants that his house will rule over Israel forever? That promise of an eternal kingdom is fulfilled in Jesus Christ, who is from the house of David. Wow, it's just so amazing that God keeps all his promises. And why wouldn't he? He loves us so much. So even when other people break their promises, I know God won't break His. Correct. But also remember, as children of God, we must follow His examples and not break promises that we make. This is all great, but but, but, but no. God. What are God's promises for us today? Does He promise us anything? Yes, he surely does. And if you want to know what they are, you better attend all the days of the novenas. That's the theme this year. Really, promise, promise. promise. Promises are meant to be broken. We hear these sayings so often. that we have come to believe in it a foundation of a promise is trust we make promises to people who trust us and also trust people who make promises to us the importance of keeping a promise is to maintain trust and faith in each other god's word is filled with promises it provides delivers and leads us to have endless faith in his world in the beginning when adam falls for the temptation of the serpent god makes a promise to crush the serpent forever through the offspring of a woman with noah god promises 
never to destroy the world with a flood again. Through Abraham, God promises to make his people great. With Moses, he promises that those who keep the commandments will be his chosen ones. To David, he promises that his throne will rule forever because from his house will come the Messiah. And finally, God fulfilled that promise through Mary who accept the promise of the Messiah on our behalf. Mary too makes 15 promises to her devotees who sincerely recite the rosary. God is faithful to us and He fulfills all His promises. Through these Navinas, we shall dwell on the seven promises God makes to us. So, keeping God and Mary as an example in our lives, let us change the saying, Promises are meant to be broken to Promises are meant to be honoured. Our response shall be to the intercession of Mother Mary, Lord, hear our prayer. All together, to the intercession of Mother Mary, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, the Bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as leader, they may honor their promise, which is to love and serve God and His Church. We pray to the Lord, to the intercession of Mother Mary, Lord, hear our prayer. For all our parishioners, that by God's grace, they may keep the promises that they have made to God through the sacraments, and also the promises made to each other. We pray to the Lord through the intercession of Mother Mary. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the catechists and teachers, that they may live up to their promise of teaching the children with sincerity and honesty, faith and commitment. We pray to the Lord, through the intercession of Mother Mary, Lord hear our prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus, that they may experience the healing power of God, we also pray for the frontline workers, doctors, researchers and the government, that they may take appropriate steps to combat the virus. We pray to the Lord, through the intercession of Mother Mary, Lord hear our prayer. O Most Holy Virgin, you were chosen to be the mother of Jesus. Permit me, your devoted client, to praise you for this unique privilege. O tender mother and comfortress of the afflicted, grant me the special protection which you have promised to those who venerate you. Relying on the infinite mercies of your divine Son, trusting on his promises, that those who ask would receive and penetrated with confidence in your powerful intercession. I most humbly entreat you to obtain for me the favors which I petition for in this novena. If it is the holy will of God or else whatever grace I most stand in need of. Let us in silence specify our needs. In veneration of the love and joy with which your heart was replenished when the word was made flesh in your womb, I offer you the sentiments of my heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mother of God, accept these salutations in union with the veneration with which the angel Gabriel first hailed you, full of grace. I wish most sincerely that this may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory. Mother Mary, to your keeping soul and body, we confide toiling, resting, walking, sleeping. Be you ever at our side, cares that vex us, joys that please us, life and death we trust in you. You make yours all for Jesus and for all eternity. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, the Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with our loving help, your Church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of our children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joy and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. On the promises of Christ my King Through eternal ages let us praise His name Glory in the highest I will shout and sing Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Of God.